Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be designing this base metal for our Allen wrench. So pause the video, download this file and create it on your own. Then you can come back later on and watch this video. To create this part, I'm going to start a new part file and click OK. Then I'm going to change my units to millimeter. So under options, I'll click on the document properties tab, units, change it to millimeter and click OK. On the front plane, we are going to draw this sketch. So on the front plane, I'm going to select sketch. So select the front plane and select sketch. First, let's draw a circle on the origin point right there. Then we'll use the corner rectangle. So click on this drop down. It is the first one corner rectangle. And I'm just going to start at this quadrant and I'll draw something like that. And I'll select this circle and that line holding down the control key had a tangent relation. Then let's add some dimensions. This line is going to be 25.4. And this dimension is going to be 152. 0.40 just going to zoom out and let's trim this circle under here and we'll add another dimension here and it's going to be 15.88 and now let's add a line here something like this at an angle hold it down the control key Select that line and select the circle and add a tangent relation. Then we are going to trim out the excess. Going to trim this, trim that, and trim this, and trim that. Because we just trimmed that part out, this line is now broken. So let's click this point and that point and add a horizontal relation because this should be horizontal with that point. Let's now add a dimension for this line. This line to that line. It's going to be 125. We are going to do the same thing on this side. Let's draw a circle here. Select that circle and that line at the tangent relation. We are going to trim this part out. Let's add another line over here something like that. Select that line and this circle at a tangent relation. Let's trim out the excess. We'll trim this, there, that, and this. Now let's select this circle and that circle and add the equal relation. So the only thing left is to add the dimension here, which is the angle. Select this line and that line. Select the line, this line, and it's going to be 110. We have a fully defined sketch. Come to Feature, Extrude Boss. We are going to extrude it by the mid plane. And the distance is going to be 27. So I'm going to type 27 in there and click OK. I'm going to scroll down. Next, we are going to add some fillets here. So select fillet. And let's change the dimension to 12.7. And we are going to add the fillet here and here. And click OK. And move on to step four. Step four, we are adding another fillet. So let's select fillet. Let's change the dimension to two. And we want to add it to this edge and this edge and click OK. Let's move on to step five. Step five, we are adding the shell feature. So we'll click on shell. To create a shell, first you have to remove a face, which is why you see those blue 
face right here. So we'll select all this face because these are the face we are going to remove. Once you select the face, we are going to change this to one. And let's show the preview. And this is what it looks like and click OK. And that is how you get that feature. Then for the next one, we are going to cut that whole hint. So select this face and sketch. Number two, just move it here. I'm going to draw a circle that is on that origin point, And I'm just going to draw another circle over here. Select both circles and make them equal to each other. Select this circle and the, that circular edge and make sure they are concentric. So this center of the circle is also the center of that edge. Then we'll add a dimension here. This circle is 9.53. We have a fully defined sketch. We'll come to feature, extrude cut, and it is going to be true all, and click OK. And that is how you create this part. Make sure you save it. So I'm going to click save, browse to my desktop, and save it as base sheet metal, and click save. And there are two other parts we want to create for this exercise because we are creating the Allen wrench assembly. So the first one is the pin and the second one is the washer. Let's create that real quick. So we'll click on new part and click OK. I'm going to change my units. Going to change it to millimeter and click OK. And on the front plane, let's draw a sketch. And we're just going to draw a circle. And the diameter of that circle is going to be 7.62. So we have the diameter going to be 7.62. And that is given right here. I'm going to come to feature, extrude. And let's extrude it by the mid plane. And the distance is going to be 27. So we have something like that. Click OK. Then we are going to create this part. Let's select this face. Sketch. Number 2. Let's add a circle. And the diameter of that is going to be 12.7. Twelve point seven. Click OK. And we come to Feature, Extrude. And the distance is going to be 3.175. And click OK. Then we are going to add our radius here. And the size of that radius is going to be 1.588 and click OK. So what we have to do now is just mirror this over here. So we'll come to mirror. We want to select the front plane. And the feature we want to mirror is the fillet and the extrude bus too. So make sure in here you have the fillet and the extrude bus too. You can see the preview and click OK. So that is how we create this feature. Make sure you save it. I'm going to save that as pin. And for the last one is just the washer. So let's create a new part file. And click OK. Let's change our units to millimeter. And on the front plane, 
start a sketch. I will draw a circle. Draw another circle. And the diameter of the first circle is 25. And the diameter of the second circle is 9. I believe it's 9. Let me zoom in a little bit just to see. Oh, no, it is 8. So change that to 8. Then we'll come to Feature, Extrude. And the distance is going to be 2. And click OK. And save this as washer. And that is how you create all this part. In the next tutorial, we are going to be putting everything together in an assembly. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.